Don't we all want a cozy, warm, and inviting home? In today's video, I'm going to show you what I do to make sure my guests feel welcomed. Stay tuned. Hi, and thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I decorate. I'm sitting in my family room on the couch, so that's the room I'll be showing you. Now, many of you have requested for me to show different parts of my home or how I decorate, so this video is for you. I am very much a homebody, and I love being in my home. I think everyone's home should be their haven, their refuge, their place of comfort. Now, we all have different tastes in decorating. We all like different styles of things. I'll tell you what my style is, and that is um, sort of light. I like everything light. I like light furniture, light floors. I don't like anything dark. I love the beachy thing. I guess because I live here at Hilton Head, why not? I just love all the little beach decorations. I don't like curtains on my windows or blinds. I want everything wide open. I think what really makes a home warm, cozy, welcoming, is if you do it to reflect you. It's your personality. It's who you are. That automatically makes it what it is, in my opinion. So if you put the things you love in your home and the things that make you and your family feel comfortable, your guests will feel comfortable too. Now, a house is not just about the structure. It's not about the furniture that you put in it or the size of the home. It could be 1,000 square feet or 5,000 square feet. You could have bargain furniture in it, thrift store furniture in it, or top-of-the-line furniture. That is not what makes a house a home. And I'm going to talk about what I feel makes a house a home after I show you around this room. So let's do that now, and then I'll come back and talk to you. Well, this is my family room. I have a fireplace here, put a couple books. These are some like... Uh, paper flowers. They're not real. I put things that speak to me, like this little angel here. I just love her, and she lights up. I don't know if you can see it, but it lights up and puts little crystally things around, and uh, this is a tree, like a Christmas tree, but it's made out of seashells, so that works for me. Now, these chairs, I have two of them. One here and one right across from it. These chairs came from, I think, Ashley. Very inexpensive. I'll show you. They swivel, which is what I wanted, because I like to have conversation areas. I like things to be intimate. Now, these two recliner chairs back here, well, I don't really like them, but Dave wanted a recliner. And I hate those big old fat recliners. So this is what we got. We got them both from Costco. And they're sitting here because there's a TV right across from it on the wall. That way him and my grandson Tristan can watch a game, a football game or whatever. But when I have company, when my kids come down, I wanted two more chairs. And like I said, these swivel, so they're very nice, very comfortable. And you have a little grouping of four right here. 
The other good part about it is if I turn this way, this is why I needed them to swivel. Then here's my other little grouping because this room is small and kind of odd shaped. So I have a grouping over here that you can, you know, turn your chair and you can be facing these people. Now, over here, I just have a glass table. I don't know what kind of table it's supposed to be, but, and just a few of my favorite little knickknacks. These are artificial flowers, and of course, this reminds me of the beach, so I have beachy decorations, and this cute little boot with a little uh, fake succulent in it. Tristan got me for Christmas, and it represents me to a T. So then I come over here, and I just have a, a fake palm tree with lights on it. I love lights. If I could put five trees in here with sparkly lights on them, I would do it. And then I have this, and I have a couple special photos in here. I have a couple of my ma and just a few other things. Then these chairs also came from Costco. And I really like these. I like that it had a low profile because my couch is to the left of me. And if I want to look straight out and look at the patio and outside, I didn't want anything blocking my view. So again, these swivel. And these are nice because I can turn this way and talk to the people in that little grouping. Or I can face the couch and talk to these people. I like intimate uh, little sections so that you can talk and really relate to people and just engage on a whole different level. I put throws on my chairs in case somebody's cold. Grab it and put, put it on you. I don't care about things like that, that it's not neat or, you know, now it's in a ball. I want you to do what you want. If you want to put your feet up on the table when you're sitting here, I want you to be able to do that because my home is your home and I want you to feel that way. And then over here, I have a just a little round table in the corner. As you can see up on these windows above it, these three little windows, let me come over here. Uh, these are just kind of beachy looking decorations, which I really enjoy. And the same with this fish here, kind of a beachy thing. And then this over here, this coral stuff and a turquoise. And then... Here's my couch. And so I can sit here and look outside, talk to the people across from me. And we share this coffee table in the middle. It's just a lightweight wicker coffee table. And I love this bowl because, again, it has seashells on it. I just like to put a lot of beachy stuff in the room. And then over here, I don't think I showed you this. I have this picture above Dave and Tristan's chair. And it's like a, a beach flavor to it. And then my bookshelf over here. I'm constantly changing this and rearranging it. Because it's not very big. And the pictures take up a lot of room. I have a gazillion pictures of my five grandchildren. So, you know, I tried to take some down to make room for some little decorations, but there's some I just, I can't take them down. I just have to have them. So, you know, I've got a little bit of everything on there and it's just um, a nice thing for me to sit and look at. And then that's really the end of the room. Here's a table here. And this is right below the TV, which is on this wall, which is kind of out of place. But Dave and Tristan enjoy watching games. 
and I want people to be comfortable when they're in my home and be able to do the things they want to do. This lamp is made out of seashells. I have this green glass turtle. I mean, I really do like all this stuff. So, to me, my house is cozy. It's warm. It's set up to where no matter which side of the room you're on, you can turn your chairs and all face each other if you have a large group here. Or you can have your intimate little conversation sections. And then, of course, over here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a mirror. Let me turn this light on. And it has seashells all around it. And then this is where I go out the front door. So I hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, it might not be everybody's taste, but it's definitely mine. It just represents me and who I am. And the other thing I wanted to point out, my windows. I have a window in here and a sliding glass door. And I have no curtains at all on them. This blind was here when we bought the house 11 years ago. It has never come down. I've never lowered it. I don't want anything covered up. I just want as much light to come in as possible. Unfortunately, it's cloudy out there today, so it's not that bright in here, but normally it is. So let me know what you think. Does anybody else decorate like this? Or tell me what style you like and what represents who you are. Well, there you have it. For me, my house is very cozy, warm, and inviting. You may not think so because you may have a different style and different taste. But it just represents me and Dave and our family and who we are. And that's what matters to me. What does make a house a home? I'm so grateful I've learned the answer to that. It's not what you put in your home, your furnishings and all that. That's not what I'm talking about. It's about putting love into your home, laughter, having fellowship, great, honest conversations. That's what makes people feel comfortable. I want people to come in my home and feel like they can kick their shoes off, put them up on the couch, put them up on the coffee table, grab a blanket out of a basket if they're chilly, and just be themselves. I want them to feel like they're in their own home. And that feeling has to come from you. If someone doesn't feel that, if someone doesn't feel like they can truly be themselves, then they won't be. And I would never want someone to feel like they could not be their self in my home. I really do want them to feel like they are so welcomed and I'm so grateful that they're here and I so want to spend time with them. I would never want someone to drop by and feel like they came at the wrong time or they should have called first. Wouldn't that be terrible? I want people to feel like my door is always open. Come as you are. And let's have some coffee together. Let's hang out. Those are the things that matter to me. I want you to feel welcomed, loved, and appreciated above all else. So I say enjoy your home. Do fun things in your home. Dance in your home. Sing in your home. Play your music in your home. Express yourself. Put yourself into your home. That's more valuable than any expensive couch or decoration or mirror or anything you could buy. By doing these things, 
it will really make a difference and it will turn your house into a home. Let me know in the comments section if you enjoy this type of video, this style of video. I'd be happy to do more of them. Well, now I want to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today comes from Joshua 2415. As for me and my home, we will serve the Lord. Isn't that what it's all about? I absolutely love that scripture verse because there's so much behind it. It's not just the way you raise your children if you have children in the home, the values you teach them, uh, the, teach them how to build character and things like that, and definitely teach them all about faith. That is serving the Lord. There's other ways to serve the Lord too. And that is anyone that comes into your home. You treat them with respect. You treat them with kindness. You fill them with love and appreciation. You make them feel like nothing else matters because they are here and you want to spend time with them. Show the fruit of the Spirit. Display that. You know, when you display that every day in your home, when you're in your home by yourself or just your family members, I believe that fills the rooms. I really do. I just feel like the, the Spirit is all around, and you can feel it. You can feel it. Feel the love the minute you walk in the door. I am so very grateful that I have learned and I know what makes a house a home. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.